Okay, students, they are telling us that these figures are similar. Keep in mind, similar means they are similar in size. Um, so one is bigger than the other. Um, they're the same shape, but different in size. Okay, so we're looking at this first problem here, and it's telling you that uh, tr the, tri the smaller triangle is similar to the larger triangle. So to figure out what X has to be, we're going to again set this up by using proportions. So again, I'm going to go with 5 over 12. That's just I'm using those and putting 5 on top and 12 on bottom. And then we have to set that equal to, again, I chose to put the left side on top of my fraction. So I got to do the same thing with the other triangle. I'm going to put the left side on the top. So that's why X goes on top. And then underneath that is going to be 24. And again, there's two ways to solve this. Oops, I put 12. Make sure I should have put 24. There's two ways to solve this. There's what I call the fifth grade method when you notice the pattern. And students, how do you go from 12 to 24? You should notice that that's a times 2. So if you're multiplying by 2 to the denominators, you also have to multiply by 2 on the numerators. So it turns out that x equals 10. So over here, this side of the triangle is 10. The harder way to check this using cross multiplication. This involves algebra, and we're going to do 12 times x, which is 12x. We're going to set that equal to the other side, which would be 5 times 24. I'm going to go ahead and solve 24 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 more makes 12. So now we're at 12x equals 120. Now this is called a one-step equation. You need to get x all by itself. So you'll divide both sides, because what you do to the left, you have to do to the right. You'll divide both sides by 12. The 12s cancel out, and now all you have left is x equals 100 divided by uh, 120 divided by 12. And 100 divided by 12 ends up equaling 10. So x is 10. So there we have just double checked our work. We used what I call the fifth grade method which is just spotting the pattern. So the pattern here again was to just multiply by 2. Or you can solve using cross multiplication, which is a little bit harder of a method, but again still arrives at our answer of x equals 10. Now I challenge you to go ahead and try to solve this second one by yourself. To see, you need to go ahead and figure out uh, solve for x. Good luck.